Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Amorwe. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Taya Salah. Right, this is what the show looks like today. We're starting with the uh, bombshell dropped by former, now former Germany midfielder Mesut Ozil, who's announced his retirement from international football, citing racism and disrespect by the DFB. The DFB is the governing body for football in Germany. After 92 caps, a three assists and 23 goals, one World Cup, but the last one was a disaster. So he's been picked as a scapegoat for that. Also on the program, we're talking about Formula One, and it was a miracle, so to speak, for Lewis Hamilton. He is now the fourth. I mean, how did how was he able to do this? As Sebastian Vettel crashed, and so he had to retake the Formula One lead from that man. It was supposed to be a home Grand Prix for Sebastian Vettel, but it wasn't to be. But then it was a home Grand Prix for Mercedes. Mm. Congratulations to Lewis Hamilton. Went into that race uh, with no hope. Little to no chance of actually uh, emerging victorious, but he's done it. From uh, 14th thanks to, position. Yes, from 14th uh, to uh, the race winner. So Lewis Hamilton back in front again, ahead of his title rival. Sebastian Vettel. Also on the show, this time we're going to go where, okay, that man on your screen, Italian Francesco Molinari has been crowned the champion golfer of the year after securing a two-shot two -shot win, win. Uh, at the 147th edition of the British Open at Cano State. So it becomes the first Italian to win a major in golf. Francesco Molinari, congratulations your British Open champion. Yeah, and that's where we're starting from this right. morning, just celebrating right. this man who was able to do this remarkable thing. And everyone was talking about Tiger Woods when shortly he took over the lead. I was like, finally, eight years since 2008. Mm. But then somehow, it just wasn't his day. It wasn't Rory McIlroy's day. But then Francesco Molinari was the man who just took this home. Interesting. Uh, you mentioned Tiger Woods. Uh, like, everyone... Um, yeah, a lot of golfers yeah. got excited yeah. uh, when Tiger held the lead uh, briefly mm -hmm. uh, in that final round. Uh, uh, the fact that he even got and stayed in contention yeah. uh, until Sunday was an achievement on its own. But when he held that lead, everyone got excited. Is Tiger about to make it 15 uh, majors? Uh, but it wasn't meant to be. Uh, no thanks to uh, Francesco Molinar, who was simply on fire. Let's enjoy highlights of the final round at Carnestay, and let's see exactly how Francesco Molinari got the job done. Oh my God. Four left. Let's turn the shaft. tough fight uh, there's only one winner unfortunately in golf and, and 
this time it's me, but they, they play great golf and, and congratulations to them. And that's a beautiful one, right? This belief and something you never expected to win. Is this first major? Um, at the right uh, old age 30, of uh, 35, 35 as well. So, and it's been in, it's been in great yeah. form. Mm -hmm. uh, this year. Yeah, this year, if you mm -hmm. remember, it's won, uh, it won the BMW mm -hmm. Championship. Mm -hmm. And it won at the Quick and Loans yeah. National well, Championship yeah. as well. So, uh, about well, 15th it, in the world right now. If, you, if, you, if you've been following you, so it's not really a surprise. But we know golf is one of the most... Uh, unpredictable sports out there I and mean, you can come in in great form and crash out and not even make the court um dustin johnson world number one justin thomas those two guys didn't even make the court at all uh so you, you see how, how difficult can be it can be difficult uh sometimes so for francesco molinari uh fantastic achievements uh for him he's been able to end the dominance of americans when it comes to majors as well so because the last five has been won, won by, by Americans. Americans. Uh, earlier this year, we saw uh, Patrick Reed winning the Augusta Masters. Uh, we saw Brooks Kepka winning course, the US Open as well. So, damn, Italian, it's it's crashed Italian. the party. <laughs> Which is a good one, European. But then the Britain are still waiting for their own to get uh, one. That's continue. why everyone was rooting for Rory McIlroy. Nah, Let's drop in nah, for that. I mean, Rory okay. McIlroy right, right now, <laughs> um, the wait continues. It's starting to him. feel like a drought right now. He hasn't won a major... Uh, in about four years now. Four years so now. Hopefully, the droughts. hopefully he can return to winning ways as soon as possible. Let's go to Germany now mm -hmm. for the German Grand Prix. The miracle Prix. win, right? That's what you call it. How and did it happen to Sebastian Vettel? I don't know. I mean, he's, only, he's, he's the only one that can explain what happened uh, in that race. Everything was looking rosy. I was looking like a dream home race for Sebastian Vettel. was on fire during qualifiers. Started on pole. Was leading comfortably until... It crashed his car when the rain started. He's blaming it on the rain, uh, but I won't go as far as that. And what do champions do? Champion uh, like Lewis Hamilton, who had a disastrous qualifier, you know, took advantage, oh, exploited wait. the situation, oh, uh, all the way from fought 14th back from 14th uh, to emerge a winner at the German. Grand Prix, Cecilia. I think we should just uh, yeah, uh, it's only right. Just yeah, shut up and just watch see this. The fantastic and superb from the... racing from Lewis Hamilton. So, Kimmy, this is Jock. Uh, you're aware we need to look after tyres. Both cards need to look after tyres, and you two are on different strategies. Your strategies are slightly different, and we'd like you not to hold up, Seb. Thank you. So, I don't, sorry, but. It'll be direct. I don't know. What, what do you want me to do? Losing as little time as possible, obviously, but uh, where you can, Seb is uh, is capable of going quicker, but uh, he's hurting his tyres, and you are as well. We need to look after them. So you want me to let him go? Please, just tell me. More likely, we'll have rain in eight minutes. It's James, please hold position. I'm sorry. Copy, James. I would never have thought that you could do something like that today, but I just kept pushing, I kept believing. 
and it happened. So I really manifested my dream today. So big, big thanks to God. Taking positives as a team, perfect results for us. In Germany, our home, home Grand Prix for Mercedes for Daimler. So that's very good. But it was very difficult to know where the grip is or not. And usually when you go fast and uh, no one is suddenly not there, there's nothing you can do. Well done to Lewis. A well done to Mercedes AMG Patronus represented by... <laughs> Interesting, That's a fantastic interesting post race uh, reaction mm -hmm. there. Um, uh, he, he said a, a very long prayer before the race started <laughs> because it. he knew he needed a ma major <laughs> miracle yeah, cool. to, to win. And it happened 14. for him. And it happened. But he was ready to take advantage. He was ready. When That's the opportunity the point. presented itself. So when you pray, you work hard. It exactly. goes together. Hand in hand. We yeah. always talk about that every Prayers. time uh, in sport. Anyways, as a result of that victory, fantastic win. Uh, for uh, Lewis uh, is now back on top of the championship yes. driver standing, uh, leads by a massive 17 Point. points. 188 for Lewis Hamilton in pole position to win a fifth title. But believe me, this race is not over. We're still going to see many more uh, changes in terms of the leaders. Sebastian Vettel following on one cent, one point. Yeah. In the right corner, Ferrari 131. Mike Valtteri Harry. Bottas, Mercedes 122. And Cecilia has our favorite driver right now, Daniel Ricciardo. He's tired. Of Why Red Bull, again? 106. Okay. Uh, but it's safe to say uh, the battle for the 2018 Formula yeah, 1 championship is between Hamilton and, and Sebastian Vettel. Vettel. Straightforward. Huh? Next stop is on Hungarian Grand Prix. Uh, that's going to be this weekend. It's very interesting to see if. Um, Ferrari and uh, Vettel can rebound uh, and get a win. From this nightmare race. Let's move on. We're still talking racing now. But we're going to France. The Tour de France is hotting up now. We are at the stage 15 now. And uh, the usual suspects are still uh, in contention. Uh, Chris Froome looking to defend his title, still in contention. Doesn't have the yellow jersey. At all. Why is close. It's Just close. second. And uh, it's all about uh, Thomas. Uh, Thomas has been surprising uh, everyone. Interestingly, he's a teammate of oh, yeah. um, Froome as well for Team Sky. Team Sky. So they, they seem to be having a good time, but it's going to get tougher uh, from now on. Absolutely, more like that's why everyone was even thinking, why is he not the leader? Why do we still have? I mean, leading Team Sky, so to speak. Why yeah. do we still have, you know, uh, Chris Froome? But then in this stage, it was Scott Nelson who got this one. For sure, it did. It really uh, gave me the confidence that uh, it's possible to win here at, at, the, at the tour. And uh, yeah, <laughs> very happy uh, also for him and, and for me and, and the team. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, a big week, but. Um... Just keep doing what I've been doing, you know, day by day, and trying to do everything, everything right, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. 